Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love costumes and Halloween as much as I do, it is our time of year. I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank and maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today's episode is another blast from the past, at least from my past. I'm 42, about to be 43 in October, and I grew up watching a little PBS show called Bozo the Clown. If you don't know who Bozo the Clown is, he is the world's most famous clown. And there was like eight different people that played Bozo the Clown. I had no idea. But that is who we are going to be recreating today is Bozo the Clown, the most famous clown of all time. Let's get started. This is our completed Bozo the Clown costume. And I'm gonna show you how I did this. I think I may have accidentally gotten rid of the footage that showed the before pictures, but it was just a simple, this was actually my Rosie the Riveter costume. It was like a mechanics uniform. So a long sleeve blue jumpsuit that I started with and I used some felt. I had some embroidery thread that I used to hand embroider the bozo on each of the sleeves. I had some red cording that bozo was pretty much famous for. Um, he had the blue with the red cording and the light blue. This light blue material here was actually from a very large t-shirt I bought from a thrift store. So it was like a size 3XL or something and I just used it for the material around the collar and of course the bell bottoms. I bought some white yarn and made these pom-poms. I had some red material already and made the waistband and the sash. A little bit of blue ribbon and that's pretty much it. Hot glue, thread. I've got the shoes here that I made uh, just by adding on some cardboard to the back taping it so that when you can actually walk on it and it won't get wet or messed up so I used some duct tape on the bottom of those and then this wig which I actually created from another wig it was a black haired clown wig and I just manipulated it to look like bozo that's the whole costume let me show you how I did this
not have a wig for Bozo the Clown anywhere I looked online. The only place you can get a Bozo the Clown wig is like, it's at the Smithsonian behind glass. So, <laughs> something like that. It's in a museum somewhere. There's no Bozo the Clown wigs that are actually made. I was reluctant to purchase this one, but ended up getting it anyway. I was going to make my own, as you see. I made an attempt to make my own and it was looking pretty good but if I'm being honest I just got annoyed with the process and wanted something a little easier um, I've spent a long time on this costume and so I bought this wig it's black as you can see but it was the closest thing they had to a bozo style and it's actually a pretty decent wig so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna style it by the way this wig is on sale right now at Party City for like 10 bucks so that was just an extra bonus. I think it's like maybe 20 or 20 something if you get it on Amazon. But I purchased this wig and I'm just going to spray paint it. Well, I'm first going, first I'm going to style it the way I want it. And then I'm going to spray paint the wig red. And we'll see how that goes. Now I've spray painted wigs before, but this one is black. So I don't know how it's gonna cover. I hope it does well. Let's get started on it. It's makeup time. And we are becoming Bozo the Clown. The first thing we're going to need to do, very obviously, is wipe our face. So I have Mayron in white. This is a Mayron water activated. Their water activated is called Paradise. So Mayron Paradise in white. And I'm just gonna get started becoming a clam. Now at some point I'm gonna have to put my wig on because Bozo's eyebrows go way up and into his bald head. <laughs> I didn't bother gluing down my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go over them with the white. I think it will be fine. And let's just get our whole face and neck white. I went ahead and put my wig on. It is crazy. What's so cool about using this method and spray painting the hair is that it is stiff. It is like board stiff. Now the wig actually was pretty stiff when I first got it. It's a pretty decent wig, but I had to kind of comb it out so that it would go all the way around. You know, it was split in the back. So I just combed it out. I kind of styled it with a, with a hot iron at the ends, you know, so it would kind of curl up. And it is so stiff and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's talk about clown noses. <laughs> it is hard to find a clown nose. I will tell you that I ordered the Jim Howell nose. Jim Howell nose. It is so small. It's too small for Bozo. It's a good nose. It's a decent quality nose. It looks really cool. But for Bozo, I think it's too too small. I don't know. So, Bozo had a pretty big nose. So I ended up getting the foam nose from the costume shop. But I had ordered one on Amazon and they take forever to get here. So I didn't have time to wait for that. You know, that's more the size of his nose. I just wanted it to be glossy and shiny. And because I was in a time crunch, I, didn't, I wasn't able to. So you're gonna wanna order your nose online. Unless you want a small nose, I wouldn't get the Jim Howell nose. It was just too small for Bozo, in my opinion. It would be good for like an Emmett Kelly or Red Skelton, that kind of clown, but not Bozo. I guess we'll just start at the top and work our way down. So I made myself a little bit of a cheat sheet here with exactly how I want the makeup to go. Now, if you're not familiar with Bozo the Clown, I understand it was from a long time ago. I think the last, well, I guess it went on for like, the Bozo that was popular when I was a kid was Bob Bell. There was like eight people that played Bozo. Bob Bell was the bozo that I knew and grew up with. But when he retired in 84, another guy named Joey D'Aria 
took his place and it went on for another 17 years, which I was completely unaware of. I did not know that it went on for that long. So we're talking Bozo the Clown aired from 1946 all the way up to like the early 2000s. Weird, I didn't know that. If you're to do this, this clown, even though you may not know who Bozo is, a lot of people will, is all I'm saying. It was very popular. So let's do the eyebrows. I just have a fat black liner here. And I'm just hoping, that's doing pretty good. Right now I'm just making kind of a rough line and I'll go back and... I'm really pleased with the way this pencil is writing on the makeup and everything. So that's awesome. A pencil is easier to use than a brush or something like that because you can just draw it on. So now we're gonna do our eyes. I actually want to use a white liner and go into my waterline with the white liner. If you are going out, you're gonna wanna get your final seal on so that your makeup isn't smudging all night long. So get you some final seal by Ben Nye or Barrier Spray by Mehran and put that on your face so that you're not melting away. <laughs> I know here in Florida it's hot when you're wearing a lot of face makeup. That way you don't have to worry. I'm just gonna do a bit of a cat eye. Believe it or not, one of the versions had a bit of a cat eye going on. I'm gonna do that. And a cat eye is my regular go-to every day. <laughs> so this is how I do it. I just kind of put it on. I've got my little bit of a cat eye there. This is actually a really easy makeup to do. It's not hard at all. It's, it's one of the easier clowns and it could be for a practical clown. Let's just say you're having a clown themed or a circus themed, you know, party that you're going to and you don't, you're not really doing bozo, but you're doing just a clown. This is just a very practical clown makeup. Now who out there is afraid of clowns? Leave a comment down below if you're afraid of clowns because my sister was very afraid of clowns. I guess she had a bad experience with one that was following her around and stuff. So ever since that time, she was always afraid of clowns. So I kind of gave her a hard time about it. I personally, I never have been afraid of clowns. I think they're pretty cool and I like costumes anyway. So it's all about the costumes and fun. And of course I was a Bozo fan. So I never really had a problem with clowns, but I know a lot of people do. You might not even watch this particular episode, <laughs> but yeah, the fear of clowns is called chlorophobia. It's a real thing. Just drawing a line under our eye. And once we have that one done, boom, you're going to want to put on some mascara so you don't have those little white eyelashes poking out. And then we're going to do our mouth. Very easy. We're just going straight across our upper lip. You know what? I think I'm going to do the black outline first. Don't listen to me. So we're going to do the black outline and then fill it in. It's hard to draw on your face because it's kind of smushy, you know? So you want to try and tighten up your face when you're drawing. Like, kind of like when you're shaving. Now, we're going to color it in. And we're going to use our Ben Nye. Well, I have a Ben Nye pencil to do that. So you can really use any red makeup you want. You can even use lipstick. You can use a Sharpie marker, which I do sometimes, just so it'll stay on. We are almost done with our makeup. If you want to do a, <clears throat> a great couple's costume would be Bozo and his sidekick, Cookie. Cookie the Clown. Or you can go as a group of famous clowns. There's a whole bunch of clowns. You got Art the Clown from The Terrifier. You got even Charlie Chaplin, Red Skelton. Emmett Kelly, you just have a whole bunch. 
You can go as a whole group of clowns and just freak everybody out. <laughs> and how can I forget Pennywise? I was going to do Pennywise this year, but maybe next year. But when I do Pennywise, it's going to be Tim Curry's Pennywise. It's not going to be the new guy. I liked him and everything, but I'm just a fan of the older movies more so than the newer versions of movies. There we are. Bozo just has like an outline going from his nose just kind of to the middle of the smile line. So Makeup complete. Let's put on our costume. All bozoed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's episode. To those of you who have recently subscribed and all of my viewers out there who have been following me on this journey, I really appreciate the love and support you've shown. It brings me great joy to do this for you and show you how to create these costumes and I hope you really are getting a lot out of these videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video and I'll see you next time.